We were so fortunate for a view at all, given the cloud covers, cloud cover and the forecast. But now that the eclipse is over, it's all about severe weather threat. Tonight will be quiet. Tomorrow, right around before sunrise and through the morning rush, I do have concerns. We're going to see a round of storms flare up. Tomorrow night, around this time, another round. In both cases, severe weather is fair game. 73 outside right now. Our high temperature made it to 80. We picked up 16 hundredths of an inch of rain with the post eclipse showers and storms that push through. Luckily, no warnings and luckily for us right now, all is quiet. Keep in mind, we still appreciate the rain because of the drought, but we just don't want it to be accompanied by the side effects of severe weather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine warnings all to our north, none of them affecting us, but there have been numerous hail reports predominantly up in North Texas for the overnight we will be quiet until just before sunrise, but we are in a level two of five severe weather risk. Starting 7 a.m. tomorrow, we up that to a level three of five risk, which doesn't happen all that often here in Central Texas. What is the main threat? Hands down, it is hail, which could be large to very large. That's what these little dashed lines mean. And a 30% chance, that means a one in three chance within 25 miles of where you are, that there could be large hail. Something to keep in mind. There's also a wind threat, and there is also an isolated tornado threat as well. Avery Tomasco, Allison Miller, they'll be tracking all the storms. Austin Burks also, even though he's off tomorrow, you know he'll be tracking the storms too. Severe thunderstorm watch to our northwest. Tornado watch as well. We are quiet. Humid air, you walk outside, it is air you can wear. The dry air to the west, here's the dry line. And we've got a big upper level disturbance that is basically strong enough that it's going to send more energy our way. So quiet now. Here we head towards sunrise. You may wake up at about 6 a.m. and go, what's going on? It's not too rowdy yet, but then things could change in a real hurry. Here's potentially 7 a.m. Storms by about 8.30 in the morning. Then we go into a lull. The more cloud cover clears, the more sunshine develops, the more likely we see more instability. Some more storms pop up late afternoon. No big deal. Then comes 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Here is ahead of the cold front and along it, stronger storms yet again working through by about midnight tomorrow night and finally moving out. So that is your severe weather threat. As for the rain, hey, look at this. This could be enough potentially one, two, even three inches to cause some minor flash flood concerns as well. We'll take the rain. We don't want it to come all at once. And you know what? After that, I've got a string of gorgeous weather, sunshine, lower humidity. Heading into the weekend, we're back in the 80s.